Welcome everyone, it's the Crypto Lark, and today we're going to be discussing the Perlin ICO. They are building a robust DAG using the Avalanche protocol designed for massive scalability. We're going to be breaking down just what the heck all of that means after a massive thank you to all of you for being part of the cryptocurrency community. Your support of the channel makes all the difference, so thank you so much. And you do have to remember, this is not financial advice. This is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. This is an ICO. Do your own due diligence for investing your own money because there is always a certain amount of inherent risk in investing in any ICO. So please take the time to learn about what you are investing in. Quick note as well, this is not a sponsored review just a project that I think is very interesting and you might want some more information about. So just what is Perlin? Well, we have the Perlin Ledger. And yeah, this is actually kind of a two for one with this ICO because the Perlin Ledger is also coming out with a computing layer right from the get-go. But let's talk about the Ledger first. The Ledger is a high throughput DAG or a directed acyclic graph. This is sort of a topographical sorting of data made up of nodes with directed edges between earlier nodes and later nodes. This is going to be using the avalanche consensus for high scalability. Currently, it is running at 1,300 transactions per second. This number will increase as the network grows with around a four-second latency. The Avalanche protocol is one of the key innovations here. This is a leaderless and resource-efficient Byzantine fault tolerance protocol designed for high throughput is also meta-stable. Meta-stability originates from the quorum consensus mechanisms typically seen in high availability databases such as the Apache Cassandra database. Data pruning is made easy in the Avalanche protocol. This could be the exact technology that has been missing in order to make a trustless, decentralized supercomputer that is built across millions of devices. We also have a privacy-preserving layer via SDKs. Smart contracts will support the development of dApps on the ledger. Developers can both write and run smart contracts built on WebAssembly byte code. Now, the computing layer is a very interesting additional offering to the ledger itself. And it is the first implementation of what can be really a wide reaching area of use cases for the smart contract enabled DAG ledger. Decentralized cloud computing has been strapped on top of the DAG ledger. This of course allows for the unused computing power around the world from all these underutilized devices, even smartphones, to be freed up. They are aiming to create a paradigm shift in cloud computing. Cryptographically secure proofs will enable the easy purchase of exact limits of RAM and CPU putting Perlin's offering on par with similar services offered by AWS. Miners in the network will provide the relevant resources for the computing power. Validators will ensure that resources are actually available and handle value transfers via the immutable ledger of pearls. Validators must stake a certain amount of tokens. This will 
actually lock up a good portion of token, as, assuming, of course, that there is a good amount of validators in the network. And of course, we have clients on the other side of this buying those computing resources. The token will be used to reward the network miners and to handle payments. The total supply of tokens will be 1 billion. It will be starting as an Ethereum-based token until the Perlin mainnet launches. Having a look at the team, the partners, and some of the advisors here, we see a very high-level project. On the team, we have Dorji. This is a successful entrepreneur who has already started and sold four businesses, as well as having advised popular crypto projects like Santiment and Republic Protocol. Kenta, both a developer and an entrepreneur, having experience in both the distributed technologies and artificial intelligence machine learning. Mirza, also an advisor over at Eden Chain and One Ledger, is on the team. We do have some strong advisors here too, like the CEO of Republic Protocol. And this has had massive interest from the major funds. FBG is involved, Bitmain, and around 30 other major funds have put their money on the table for Perlin. That in of itself says a lot about the scale and quality of this project. Now, what are some concerns of mine? Well, 1,300 transactions per second currently, of course, that's great, but EOS already has over 3,000. NEM, Komodo, BitShares, and the list goes on of faster blockchains. That's an important thing to point out. In terms of cloud computing, well, get in line, Perlin, because the space is getting super crowded in terms of blockchain competitors. And of course, we must consider the industry giants like Google and their real stranglehold on this industry at the moment because they have so much money behind them. Their computing resources are so big. A consideration as well, are people actually going to be renting out their phones? What about battery life? What about burning your phone out? Not to mention the reward to energy cost for computers in the network making it likely that small machines could prove to be impractical to use, especially if you live in somewhere like, well, New Zealand, where energy prices are quite high. This could be a real factor. The network's success will largely depend on the adoption by miners to be successful. If we are unable to see that network effect growing out, Perlin will not be able to exist as a network. Now, what about some of the details of the token sale? 20% of the tokens were sold during the seed round for four cents each on a 12 month vesting period. 20% were sold to strategic investors for 12 cents each on a six month Vesting period, 7.5% were sold for 20 cents each on a three-month post-listing lockup. Now, we don't have the details yet for the public sale. Assumedly, there'll be more than the private sale. And already, we can see that people who got in at the seed round got it for four cents. Well, Vest investors who got in at the private round got it for 20 cents. That is a big difference in terms of price. And yes, the seed round is locked up for longer. I do understand that. And hey, you have to keep it fair as well. All the investors that got in at the seed round, they were taking a very large risk. And thus having a higher reward is not undue without a doubt. But you do have to keep it real too that there have been a lot of big bonuses in terms of really cheap buying prices given to those earlier investors. And this has worried quite a few people about the sale. Now we do have lockup periods here, but nevertheless, this is something you do have to have in mind. Now we are still waiting on the details for the public sale. How much is going to cost in the public sale? How much is going to be available 
for public sale investors. All of these things still do need to be determined. I do see a lot of really big opportunities here with Perlin. Lots of institutions have unused resources and would probably love the extra income opportunity. Cloud computing is definitely a hot topic at the moment. And seeing that cloud computing layer built on top of the Perlin Ledger is a really good first iteration of cutting edge DAG technology that is bringing in novel technical implementations. So there's a lot to take note of here. Thanks so much for watching the Perlin review. Let me know what you think about Perlin down below in the comment section. Thumbs up the video. Share these videos around the internet to help our community grow. Join the conversation over on Twitter. Long live the blockchain. And peace out till next time.